and um and uh it, it, i don't know this is it's interesting to see pinterest what pinterest is looking to do to monetize and and i don't know if you guys know i've been i've been on this this tip for a few months now uh pinterest stats are amazing dive into those if you have a chance I, if you have pinterest you know even you chill I, I don't know how much stuff you actually pin new but even the stuff that you repin to see what is reacting i guess so i know you're not really selling anything but um but still is it easy to get those metrics uh yeah yeah i think you just go to analytics.pinterest.com i got the yeah analytics analytics.pinterest.com logged in under your account and you'll get them and then I'll, I'll try to bring them up here. Actually, I don't. I have to log in, so I'm not sure if I can snap. Oh, actually, no. Hey, it should be over here. Here, you'll get. A, you've got a readout like this, and um, you have your like daily impressions. Like I'm getting 620 daily impressions. Are you kidding me? Like I had no idea I'm getting that kind of response on your email. Mean, it's impressions, so it's whatever it is. It tells you what your audience is. It tell you what the the biggest tweet is. Like I know that the John Cena changes. Uh, wife of the show's uh you know article that we posted is is, is getting the most impressions and, and some clicks uh generally the stuff from from uh insert coin to begin is populating here uh you know it, it's it, it gives me an idea what what is working on pinterest and and now with this i'm kind of looking at getting into this and maybe um you know opening up specific pinterest pages for sorgatron media for instance, may, maybe not for Wrestling Mayhem show, but maybe for like Indie Mayhem when we're, we're talking about the wrestling DVDs, you know, a little more, you know, what we're, we're making content, we're making, we're putting information out there. You talk about infographics, for instance, we're making videos about social media around here, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know how, what, I, I haven't seen a giant growth in that. Uh, but I'm also seeing, you know, my, my client that has a lot of, uh, we have a nutritional nugget of a week, of the week, for instance. Those do really, really well there. And we have other little mindful educational pieces as well. And, and we're trying to share those out there. Uh, you know, I, I've had a lot of enlightenment about Pinterest and organization and what you can do for people. Um, so, so follow me on Pinterest and see what happens, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but uh but but they're there but the the, the 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 guys are there i'm seeing wwe stuff on here i'm seeing interactions going on there uh to a certain extent right and nothing crazy but the video game stuff is there go look up cosplayers on on pinterest ton of stuff i i it gives me like that usually if i'm sharing something visual over the pinterest that's not something i made i probably got it from pinterest so and she was actually genuinely surprised how many people had Pinterest pages when they raised their hands. Or how many guys oh, really? had, had Pinterest pages? I think I think in that crowd, I think if you're talking the social media crowd, we all have Pinterest pages because we're all trying to figure out how freak we're going to use this thing, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I, I don't think when well, I think I was a little bit of a skew, but still, uh, there was a, there was a, I didn't get the entire statement, but she said that the the Pinterest has more men on it. Then the combination of GQ and like two other magazines combined have readers. Oh, I'm, I'm sure because I mean, it, well, first of all, it's free. Yeah. And, and second of all, it's the, and, and this is where I keep going with people that are that are heavy paper users, whether it be you know print out the print out the PowerPoint, print out the whatever you're reading. There, there's no index and there's no search capability on a piece of paper. Right. If you handed me a stack of paper and said, "Count the time, count how many times the word the appears in this," it's going to take you quite some time to skim, skim through and probably not get it correct. Whereas Word can quickly count how many times the word "the" appears across the next fifty pages of the document. And so I, I think this is where Pinterest definitely serves its purpose. If I want to look for a a a black suit or a blue tie. Searching those, searching that is going to quickly result me in, in 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 all of the types of clothing that I'm looking for. Much like Google Photos that it is working on too, right? It, it combine the two of those, and then you got quite quite the the picture indexing search engine. Mm -hmm. So so I can definitely see why a, a lot of males would want to be on that. I, I think. I, I and I think I want to get more deep into some Pinterest ideas and everything too. Um, but uh, uh, as we get into basic sorgonomics, I kind of want to move on here because we we're already kind of running late. But I do want to mention in this, I think I'll also dive in a little deeper too. Um, a lot of local Pittsburgh representation. You know, again, Pinterest itself didn't really fit the theme, but I think, I don't know if it was part of the last minuteness of, of, of the selection. Uh, but they have, I think, nine people presenting under 10 minutes. 
so, something like that, um, including uh, you know somebody representing the the Pittsburgh Marathon. And I know there's some people out there that listen that that are involved in this. And I'd love to hear their take on this as well. How they went from no social media on that weekend and. Everything.